This video is going to be about uh, what is inside a radiator and also how to disassemble them and how to dispose of them. Um, the recycle place, the recycling center is going to give me ten dollars, approximately ten dollars for the radiator and this includes the brass in the transmission cooler, if you can see the long brass is about a pound or two of it. Uh, there's nothing on the other side of the plastic cooler, but uh, if you analyze the radiator itself, you will see why radiators fail. Uh, there are rocks and debris all along the the little vents in the radiator radiator to include the front and the back cooling sections. Uh, not only are they marred up and bent, but there is debris. Now this is the second second load of debris. That's about a pound right there. So I would say it's a good five to ten pounds of dirt and debris in each of these radiators to include the liquid inside. Now to get it open what I did was I only needed a screwdriver and I pulled back, I wedged open these tabs and that all these tabs right here around the entire radiator have to be wedged out and uh, due to the gasket seal just stick a screwdriver in there and wedge it right out and you will find out that inside is a gasket that's the gasket itself and behind that are the coolers for the transmission fluid if you have an automatic transmission you may get a couple bucks extra for the transmission coolers or the brass that's inside the inside the transmission cooler now other than that the proper disposal uh, will be the recycling center and like I said they'll give you about ten bucks for them uh, that concludes the disassembly of a radiator, what's inside them, why they fail, and how to dispose of them. Um, other than that, there's really no more disassembly I can do to this. It just needs to be melted down. It's all aluminum. All right. Bye-bye.